this is a cottonmouth. It is a pit viper. You can't see it too clearly. But right by his nostrils, he has two little heat sensing pits. It allows him to see exactly how warm I am. It helps him to find his prey and also helps him decide where he wants to strike. Now, the reason they're called a cottonmouth is when they get scared. See how he opens his mouth? It's hard to see with this lighting, but he does have a pretty uh, bright colored mouth. It serves as a visual warning to any would-be predators or any passerbys that uh, may accidentally step on him or uh, intentionally try to hurt him. He's trying to warn you off, let you know that he's there. One easy way to tell the difference between a venomous cottonmouth like this and a non-venomous water snake is when you look at their head, you can see how he has that white strip along his upper lip. If you look at a non-venomous water snake, and I'll show you a picture of that here shortly, they have vertical black bands on their upper lip. Um, it's a quick, easy way to tell the difference. Uh, I'm gonna take this guy and we're gonna relocate him off-site so we don't have to worry about any of the workers here um, accidentally getting bit. As promised, here is a non-venomous water snake. This is actually a banded water snake. They commonly get misidentified as a venomous cottonmouth, although this guy is completely harmless. He could bite. But again, if you look closely at that upper lip, you see those black striations, those black lines running across the top of it. That's a great way to quickly identify a non-venomous water snake versus a venomous cottonmouth. Uh, but as you can see, if you look at him from the top, he is kind of flattening out his head, trying to give it that diamond or triangular shape. He is actually trying to trick you into believing that he is a venomous snake, so that way you can leave him alone. We're going to relocate both of these guys off-site. That way nobody has to worry about identifying them or misidentifying them. If you enjoy our videos, please like, share, follow, and subscribe. If you have any wildlife or pest control needs, we proudly serve Houston, San Antonio, Austin, and most surrounding areas.